Hello, my name is Chiu Sun Wu, uh, assistant professor at the University of Tennessee. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to use LeafMap to visualize code and uh, stack with minimum coding. You can scan the QR code at the lower right corner or go to the URL gshub.org uh, slash OGC to access the PowerPoint uh, slides. So what is LeafMap? Uh, it is a Python package for interactive mapping and geospatial analysis uh, with minimum coding in a Jupyter environment. Uh, the source code is available on GitHub. Uh, you can check out the GitHub repo. And some of the key dependencies include, for example, IPy Leaflet and uh, Folium for mapping. Uh, IPy widgets for designing uh, interactive uh, user interface and white box for uh, geospatial analysis. Also some uh, 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 vector and uh, raster data analysis and visualization using GeoBenders and uh, local type server. So DeepMap supports Jupyter, uh, uh, Colab, and also uh, Streamlit. Uh, you can check out, for example, the DeepMap documentation, DeepMap.org, and there are lots of uh, tutorials and Jupyter notebook examples uh, for you to try it out, and uh, over 50 uh, examples. So next, I'm going to quickly go through some of the key features that uh, how you can use a uh, a div map so you can for example open any uh, raster data set on your co a local computer it can be a, a cloud optimized geotiff or it can be any uh, raster data set support like uh, GDAO. and you can also change for example the color map uh, not only the local raster you can also uh, visualize the data from the microsoft uh, planetary computer and in this case for example you can uh, change the bank combination uh, you can easily for example calculate uh, NDVI for example and then you can uh, select a uh, what level uh, color map that you want and so you can also change the layer opacity so that you can uh, compare uh, two different data layers and not just the DM so you can uh, search any data set available in the uh, planetary computer uh, catalog and in this case uh, it's just uh, 1902 uh, in addition, you also support any cloud optimized geotiff uh, to HTTP, HTTP URL. So you just need to paste an URL and then you can change the visualization uh, parameters to easily visualize a uh, code and stack uh, exit item without doing any uh, coding. Uh, next, uh, this, I'm going to show you how you can search the uh, plenty through computer uh, catalog. So you can easily uh, select some sample data set to display or you can simply draw a rectangle for example or polygon on the map and then just click one button uh, you will be able to search the catalog and return the list of uh, results and after that just select whatever is being returned and select one sample data set uh, you can customize the color map if you want so uh, simply display the data without uh, coding so dm uh, sentinel uh, whatever uh, data set catalog available so you can also uh, filter by uh, date so by date by uh, uh, ROI so in that case it's uh, you can uh, search the data very quickly without having to uh, write any night code and after that uh, you can load the data directly to the map interface and then you can turn the data on and off uh, just like what you did in some traditional uh, desktop GIS software all right and besides visualizing the data sometimes you might want to uh, analyze the data or you want to inspect the data so in this case you can easily uh, get pixel value so you just need to click uh, on the mouse so again this is cloud optimized geotiff uh, in the uh, planetary catalog or any uh, cloud optimized geotiff so it is not the data on your computer and you can get the pixel values uh, you can you can also collect training samples so if you want to do some uh, classification so you can assign the label to the points that you create and then you just simply save that one as a csv to your computer and then you can open the data so this is uh, very useful if you need to collect training sample to uh, 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 do uh, image clarifications so you can also load the data back into the map so after you export as a csv uh, you have the uh, location for each point you also have the label so you can uh, directly load the data into the map uh, very very easily if you want to learn more about our uh, leaf map uh, check out my uh, youtube channel i have a lot of uh, video tutorials uh, for DeepMap, GMap, and some other uh, open source uh, Python uh, packages. And uh, you uh, feel free to reach out to me by email or uh, Twitter if you have any uh, questions. Thank you.